finding one number as a percentage of another. You will learn how to express one quantity as a percentage of another. Before continuing, do not forget to subscribe, and if you have any question, feel free to ask or suggest anything. Percentages are oft often used to compare quantities. It's therefore useful to be able to express one quantity as a percentage of another. To find one quantity as a percentage of another, we write the first as a fraction of the second, then multiply by 100%. To express a quantity as a percent with respect to other quantity, the following formula is used. Let's see how it works. Express the first quantity as a percentage of the second. 6 is what percent of 24? 6 will be the part and 24 will be the whole. First, write the given numbers in the fraction form and then multiply by 100%. Divide 600 by 24 to get the percentage. Six is twenty five per cent of twenty four. Forty marks out of fifty marks. For this problem, forty marks will be the part and fifty marks will be the whole. Write the given numbers in the fraction form and then multiply by one hundred per cent. After simplifying, divide 400 by 5 to get the percentage. Forty is 80 percent of 50. 332 books sold out of a total of 500 print. For this problem, 332 will be the part and 500 will be the whole. Write the given numbers in the fraction form and then multiply by 100%. After simplifying, divide 332 by 5 to get the percentage. Three hundred thirty two is sixty six point four per cent of five hundred. Out of two thousand three hundred vehicles sold in a month, seven hundred fifteen of them were Chinese vehicles. For this problem, two thousand three hundred will be the whole and seven hundred fifteen will be the part. Write the given numbers in the fraction form and then multiply by 100%. After simplifying, divide 715 by 23 to get the percentage. 715 is 31.1% of 2300. The Unitary Method in Percentage The Unitary Method, in essence, is all about finding the per unit value. We first find 1%, then multiply it by 100 to find the whole amount. If we know X% percent of the amount is N, then 1% is N over X. Let's see how it works. Find 100% of a quantity if 6% of the quantity is 42. Calculate 1%. We know 6% corresponds to 42. Divide 42 by 6. 
so 1% corresponds to 7. Now we multiply 7 by 100. 700 corresponds to 100%. 45 is 30% of what number? First, calculate 1%. We know 30% corresponds to 45. Divide 45 by 30. 1% correspond to 1.5. We multiply 1.5 by 100. 150 corresponds to 100%. 44% of students at a school use public transport. If 186 students use public transport, how many students attend the school? 1% we know 44% correspond to 186. Divide 186 by 44. 1% correspond to 4.23. Multiply 4.23 by 100. 423 correspond to 100%. Finding percentage of quantities. To find the percentage of a quantity, we have to multiply that quantity by the percentage expressed as a fraction. X percent of a quantity is X over 100 times the quantity. Let's see how it works. Find 12% of 340. The word of means multiply. To find a percentage of a quantity, we first convert the percentage to a decimal or fraction. We then multiply to find the required fraction of the quantity. 12% of 340 is 40.8. Find 4.2% of 260. Convert the percentage to a decimal or fraction. Multiply to find the required fraction of the quantity. 4.2% of 260 is 10.92. Mary scored 72% for an examination market out of 150. How many marks did she actually score out of 150? Convert the percentage to a decimal or fraction. Multiply to find the required fraction of the quantity. Mary did 108 marks.